go. Way to start the morning. The sunrise here, Upper Buzzards Bay. Second cast on the dog walker. We're going to kick off the season. Hey folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Here with Captain Cullen Lundholm from Cape Star Charters. Off to a fantastic start in the day. These big plugs are great. We're drawing lots of attention to your rig here. A slot size fish. I'm going to be releasing this guy. And what I'm going to do is keep a rod's length of line so I have plenty to work with. We're going to be removing this second set of hooks shortly. Fishing this right out of the package. As you can see, very large plug relative to the size of the fish. Nice chunky. Say this fish is around 30 inches ish. It's hard to say without measuring it. And uh, cut this guy right in the corner. Now you notice I'm doing my best to leave this fish in the water. And uh, we have enough big striped bass shots. We're just going to let this fish go. <laughs> All right, so we're fishing west end of the canal here, and we got birds all scattered eating in the channel, but they're kind of driving nuts trying to get up on them. They're up and down everywhere, so we're just working the edges. There's a bunch of boulder fields that run along the edge here, so we're just kind of cutting long drifts, turning the engine off, trying to be quiet. We know there's fish in the area, and we're just working these big spooks along the edge to gain traction. Oh. Nice medium sized fish here. So you so you notice how both hooks are in the fish. What I think happened is this guy hit the plug up front like stripers normally do and this back hook is catching down in its gills and I am not a fan of that. So we're gonna take, oh there he goes. So I didn't like how I double hooked that last fish. Uh, we're catch and release fishing today. You know, a lot of these fish are over the current slot size limit for stripers anyway. All the lures at Hoagie are designed to swim both with both hooks, obviously, out of the package, but they're also designed to swim with just the forward hook. And so I'm just going to take a moment to take this back hook off the plug. And I honestly don't think removing the back hook reduces the amount of fish we're going to catch. Uh, stripers usually hit for the head anyway. And uh, secondly, releasing the fish with one hook versus two, not only is it safer, you're going to avoid a hook in the hand, but you're also going to speed the release up. And faster release equals more time in the water. But even still, most striped bass, particularly larger baits, hit them in the head to head, head off the bait. Now the second thing I'm going to do is just crush the barbs down on this plug. And uh, you know these are you know just standard issue VMC hooks. And so they're beefy, but a, you know, a pair of typical boat side pliers will get the barbs down on these. And this again make it a lot easier and quicker to release that fish. You know again if you saw that last release I really don't like that that hook back and towards the gills. So I'm just gonna take that back hook off. And mash these barbs down and here we go so now I'm going to be a lot faster on the release and I'm not going to catch that fewer fish. Oh, 
Well, I'm gonna let you land this with that single hook. Now, this is what we came for. This is a real fish. You saw him rolling on those herring. Was that herring color? Yeah, uh, yeah, I caught out of the corner of my eye. There, this guy just gorging on those fish. Dropped right on the target. A couple turns of the plug and here we are. This is a heavy duty outfit. I'm getting this fish in quickly. Or at least so I thought. <clears throat> now I have just the single hook on it. Barbless. I kept a tight line on this fish. Here it is, a nice chunker. I'm gonna let Cullen bolt this. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. <clears throat> it's been a while since I got one of these guys this size. Cullen did an awesome job. Pointed out those herring getting gorged on or bunker or whatever they were. And uh, here we are. Now you'll notice with the single hook, that tight line, I wasn't worried about Cullen's wrist there. You know, the plug comes right out. And so fast D-hook is a safer D-hook, no blood, and easy release. So the technique we're using today is called walk the dog. You can fish these baits fast, you can fish them slow. Here I have the Hoagie XL Dog Walker. It's three and a half ounce lure, using it on a heavy duty outfit. And the key thing to remember is lots of tip action and a real cadence. So here I'm fishing this bait slow. It's a smaller tip snap and a slower retrieve versus a more aggressive tip snap and a faster retrieve and can't really fish it wrong, fast or slow. Sometimes they want it fast, sometimes they want it slow. Like for example, today, we're getting more follow slow, but they only want to eat it fast. So what do you do? You have one angler fish them fast, one angler fish them slow, team sport. fairly heavy duty outfit today. We've got a big plug, heavy duty rod, heavy duty reel, and 65 pound test braid. Now I'm gonna start with the outfit. This is the Hoagie Hybrid Spinning Rod. It's, um, it's a rod we produce at Hoagie. It's uh, not exactly, you would, you would not call this a finesse rod. It's really a, like a heavy duty rod. It has a very parabolic action, very forgiving for throwing larger baits. Uh, the reason why we call it the hybrid is it's for heavy duty inshore, and also light to medium duty offshore. And so I have this outfit paired with a Vanstall VS200 with 60 pound test braid. This happens to be a Cortland Master Braid. And what I like about the, the Cortland Master Braid is it's very durable. We're fishing around rocks and lobster pods, very abrasion resistant, and it'll last a long time, just like the reel and the rod and everything. So this is like a heavy duty outfit. Now the lure we're using is the Hoagie XL Dog Walker. It's uh, you know an excellent topwater, it's true to the name, a walk the dog style lure. It's through wired, heavy duty, uh, heavy duty hooks. Now you'll notice that uh, the one on my outfit here, the bone color has just one hook on it, taking the aft hook off basically to speed up catch and relief to catch and release to both make it safer for the angler and the fish and speed up turnaround time to get your lure back in the water as compared to here's the stock pink version um, you can see it has uh, both hooks on it i prefer to fish it with a single hook these lures are designed to be fished with one or two hooks and so they're balanced so um, you can fish them anyway but this is the outfit um, i've got 30 pound test fluorocarbon for the leader and i tied direct to the plug no snaps no the least amount of hardware i can get away with and uh, this 30 pound fluoro ties with the uni to uni to my, again, my master braid, my Cortland master braid, 
uh, 65 pound and I keep the 65 pound on just for abrasion resistance and then also this rod will switch hit for me um, later in the summer you know the 60 class 60 inch class bluefin tuna and so this is just a heavy duty outfit I like the van stall for this situation um, you know we're doing a lot of different things center consoles lots of I'm not necessarily the best like washer I'm always busy late whatever and so having these this heavy duty reel you just throw it in the truck throw it in the console and if sometimes if you miss a wash or two you're you're in good shape this so this is like my clunker heavy duty um, just robust inshore outshore set inshore and offshore setup and with this you're good to go even with the same lure